we had two Michelin stars, um, which is the only fish restaurant ever to get two Michelin stars in the UK, the number one restaurant in the country. Um, on top of that, I had a restaurant in London, a restaurant in Dubai. Yeah, my life was crazy, and I thought I was having fun, but I don't think I did. So I first started coming to Cornwall when I was a kid. You know, I had like lots of nostalgic memories as a child with my family coming here. And then when I started cooking as a chef, I thought, what a brilliant place to work because it, you know, to work for someone like Rick Stein cooking great seafood and then also being able to surf as well, you know, this, you know, it just ticked all the boxes. So I just fell in love from the first time I got here, really. The pressures that come with a Michelin star are, are, when you think about them, quite a lot. The expectation from the customers is huge, and rightly so, because you're charging a lot of money. But what it does um, for us and what we found is it just crushes the creativity and makes everybody on edge. No one wants to make a mistake. When I got time to sit down and actually reflect on how much work I was doing and how much I was missing with my family, um, I realised that the whole thing was well out of balance, you know, the whole life. Um, and it wasn't until my wife said to me, she said, Nathan, you're not right. You know, my, when my children were younger, I, I can't, sadly, I can't really remember too much of that. You know, and, it's, and it eats away at me. So now I'm trying to find that balance, therefore I can spend more time with my kids. Um, but the first thing I wanted to do was to take the pressure off the business. Um, so the first thing I did was close the highly accoladed restaurant Nathan Outlaw. Every thought, everyone thought I was a little bit crazy because you know, it's one of the top restaurants in the country. So we only had the two restaurants in Port Isaac and I thought I need to make these spaces fun. Fun to work in and fun to dine in. Welcome to Port Isaac. What I wanted to do was to have weekends off, which I've never had in my life. I've been cooking for over 20 years, um, which I do now. And I wanted to make sure that I had evenings where I wanted off as well. I'm in the kitchen in the daytimes, basically, you know, in there with, with all the guys in the kitchen and the guys front of house and just making sure that everyone's having a good time and we're enjoying it. What the changes have made by changing the restaurant is it's given me more time to um, look at maybe getting a hobby and having a couple of hobbies. I've actually worked so much in the last 20 years that I don't know what to do. It's almost like we've got a new lease of life. Um, so my wife and I are now looking for you know, things to do on our days off and we're also looking to do things that we've never discovered. There's places in Cornwall that I've never been to and I've been here for over 20 years. like the world was lifted off my shoulders when I changed the restaurant. I found at the age of 43, um, after cooking since I've been 14 years old, I've actually found my balance, I think, where I, where I like to be.